We want to turn now to the ways that the pandemic has changed how some people are looking at their future. There's been a rise in elective egg freezing among women during COVID-19. Between June and December of 2020, the Langone Fertility Center in New York University wow saw a 32% increase in women freezing their eggs. Well, that's significant, yeah. and more and more women are talking about it. In early March, our colleague ABC News correspondent Kelly Hartung posted a photo to her Instagram uh, of her last injection before having her eggs retrieved and then frozen, and her post received a lot of positive feedback, a lot of it from other women who have gone through the journey themselves or those who are considering it and those who thanked Kaylee just for talking about it, bringing it up. So Kaylee is joining us today to share more of her story. And we also have Dr. Jen here for some questions from our viewers. And Kaylee, first off, what made you decide that now is the right time to freeze your eggs? Well, Amy, growing up, I always thought I'd be married with my first kid by the time I was 25. That's when my mom had me, and I, I didn't know why my timeline would be any different. But my 20s came and went real fast, and I'll admit I've pretty unapologetically prioritized my career over my personal life for the last decade. But then I turned 35 in a year where I, I think we've all felt a little bit out of control as a result of the pandemic. And I recognized this was something I could control, making this choice. And, and so also also taking into account the fact that that the travel schedule that this job usually demands of us was different for me over the course of this past year again because of the pandemic so I didn't want that go to go to waste uh, uh, this decision didn't come lightly for me I spent the last two years really finding reasons not to do it from the weight I thought I would gain because of it to the interruption I thought it would be to my work schedule and, and also the cost. This this procedure can cost ten to twenty thousand dollars. So once I made the choice, I actually took out a loan. I made a plan and I had the support of, of friends and family throughout the process. Well, we appreciate you sharing and a lot of people you were very honest in a lot of what you just said there. And Dr. Ashton is listening very close and we're going to get you in, in a second here, Dr. Ashton. But some some women may not realize some people we just don't realize you don't just go in and have your eggs frozen and you go home this is a daily process of uh, that that's pretty extensive so tell us what your day-to-day -day, uh is like and was like so I was intimidated by the process, TJ, and especially when the, the box of medication showed up on my doorstep and I started unpacking it right here in my living room. But it, it turns out it was really nothing to be afraid of. The, the process of assembling the shots, I had to give myself two shots each night. I was told that would go from anywhere from eight to 14 days. And, and I watched a lot of how-to videos and, and took some deep breaths through the process. But after a couple of nights of it, I, I got the hang of it. I mean, that was such good information for so many people considering this. And Dr. Jen, I know you were nodding your head through yeah. a lot of it because you're very familiar with this as a board and so certified OBGYN. Yeah, yeah, and we have viewers with questions. Yeah. They want to know more. So we'll give you the first question to answer. Uh, how long is the actual removal process and how long is recovery? We heard what Kaylee's yeah. was like, but what's typical? I mean, Kaylee's, uh, remember, everyone will have their own experience. But at, to TJ's point, this isn't like going in for a manicure. You know, this is some major hormonal stimulation and then mild anesthesia and the, re the retrieval process. But again, that process uh, in a young, healthy woman, you can harvest or remove, retrieve 20 to 30 eggs in one setting. And, um, and then recovery varies. It could be a couple of days. It could be a couple of weeks. Complications or risks are low, but they're not zero. Okay, and that's the next question. What are those risks? You can have infection, you can have bleeding, you can have a rare but potentially very serious uh, condition called OHSS or ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Um, again, these things are uncommon, but if it happens to you, it can be a big deal. That's why I always say this is not something to be taken lightly, but as Kaylee said, and I think it's so important because people don't understand the process, in a young, healthy woman, this could be over in two months, you know, two cycles, six weeks uh, period of time. So, you know, it, it's short but intense. Yeah, and Kaylee, now that you're on the other side of the retrieval process, what's something you learned? What's something you want other women who are considering this to know? I think that egg freezing is oftentimes talked about as an insurance policy for women to get pregnant on their own timeline. But I learned, according to the Mayo Clinic, the chances of getting pregnant from an implanted frozen egg are just 30 to 60 percent. So I know that I'm giving myself the, the option to bring healthier eggs to the table whenever that time is right for me. But I, I recognize there are no guarantees. And when I first shared that post on Instagram, I was 
so surprised by the overwhelming support I received and the number of people who just said thank you for talking about mm -hmm. this. So more than anything, I just want to contribute to the conversation of of fertility. I know it's not easy for women to talk about. It's it's oftentimes a difficult journey. And as Dr. Ashton said, every woman's journey through this is unique. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I just want to remind women who put their bodies and their minds through this tremendous stress, if they make this choice, that you're not alone. Oh, I mean, and I think that's such an important okay. message and just getting out in front of it and talking about it is so important. People can have real information and not feel so much fear. Kaylee Hartung, thank you for your candor and thank you for your story. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.